If you're anything like me, you probably just finished watching Netflix's The Sandman based off of Neil Gaiman's novel, and as someone who is a huge fan of Neil Gaiman who's never actually got the chance to read Sandman, I was really excited for this series, and after watching it, I have to say, I'm still really excited for this series. I think it was really interesting, I think it was really well done, I really liked a lot of the characters. Did I like all of the characters? Mm, I don't know. We're gonna find out. So let's see what it do. So it starts off here with the Corinthian for some reason. I don't quite know why they did that. But a uh, really good villain. Really interestingly done. Really well acted. A lot of fun. Very sleazy and slimy but still has this virtuous quality to him. Is neat. Is very neat. I really enjoyed this and I hope to see a lot more of him in the future. Uh, I love... Just the sheer amount of queerness in this show is just insane. I have never seen this much queer content in a single show before. Uh, the amount of diversity in this show is fantastic. It was great. I was really happy with it. I had a lot of fun with it, and I can't wait to see what they do next. Uh, will the Corinthian be back? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Uh, Death was great. I love Simone Ger Gertz? Gertz? I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name, but she's so good. She was so good. Simone. No, that's her character in uh, Good Place. No, anyways. Death was wonderful. Loved her. Very well acted. She has this calm, quiet uh, sincerity that she plays the character with. She has this beautiful aura about her and this, uh, this idea that she's just there to do her job and she's having not a good time with it, but she knows what she's doing and she's comforting. It's it's sweet and it's kind of, I think about it, I'm just like, oh, when I go, maybe that, you know? Would not be opposed, would not be mad at that being the final the final chapter. Uh, Desire, wow, Desire's interesting. This is a wild take on the character. The actor is pretty fantastic. Very over the top, very camp, but this whole show's camp. This whole show is so camp. It's it's remarkably camp in a way that I don't think can be fully understood until you watch it. So, all that being said, it was a great show, and I really enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing Desire more, and just hopefully they have much more to do in the future. I can't say the same about Despair. I don't quite know where they're going with that character, but I have to hope that it's in a positive direction. So, you know, Despair, they're fine. It's 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 fine, it is whatever. Uh, I am noticing they are missing quite a few characters. There's not the sisters slash, like there's not the Victorian twins. There's not the, uh, there's not Ken and Barbie who were kind of nothing characters to begin with. Uh, they don't have Barnaby? That was, that was upsetting on a level that I don't think I can fully comprehend or understand. Uh, they don't have the son. They have Tywin's character here. I assume that's Tywin. Man, what an asshole character. He makes you hate that character. Wait, is that even him? Yeah, it must be. Just a bad angle, I guess. No, what a, oh, what a dickhead. No one likes him. No one likes him. No one likes what he does. So overall... Yeah, it's it's fine. It is what it is. Uh, he's only in it for a few, so. But he casts a long shadow, that's for sure. Really good villain. Really good take on the villain. Does a great job. Unity. Unity was fine. I have no issues with her. I think she did fine. Uh, Cain and Abel, I think, were fine. Uh, Interesting choice with Asim Chowdhury and then having him play something not super comedic. I, I've only ever known him from Taskmaster, which is something I've never done on this show before. Ooh. Thoughts. Moving on. Uh, I think he does very well. I think that he does. They, they both do really well. So, you know, no complaints. The friend was also fine. Again, kind of an, like... A there character, a present character, not the not a great character. I don't know. Speaking of high camp, I can't go this long without talking about uh, this one. Expertly done, very very well done. I think his name is Hal. Oh my gosh, it says it right there. Hal. His name is Hal. <laughs> 
I thought he was really well done. So talented. Especially the scenes where he's doing drag and he has like, oh, it's so good. He does, he has such a beautiful voice, does these old fashioned Broadway songs. It's great. And, you know, you can't complain about that. Uh, child actors, are they great? No. Was Jed great? No. But for what he, you know what, it was really cute to see him do, you know, it was cute for, to see him do Sandman. So, you know, just for that, you're not at the bottom. But I don't know if anyone is. Like, I think a lot of them could be justified. Maybe I'm a little too nice on these two. Yeah, that seems more likely. Uh, his friend. I can't remember his friend's name, but his friend was good. I liked the character. I had a lot of fun with him. I think that he was a really interesting character and a really interesting portrayal of the character. I think it was really well done. So good on them. They did a lot of really interesting things there. So that's good. Uh, Ellen. Ellen was fine. Uh, well acted. Well done. Had fun. Uh, the pumpkin character. I don't quite know what they were going for here. Definitely a dream of some kind. But not fully explored. Not explored as much as I wanted them to. So. Yeah. The son. The one who goes a little crazy. Well, not goes a little crazy. The one who altered the ruby and then destroys it. Uh, good. His episode of 24-7 was really intense and interesting. I think that there was a lot of fun that happened there they had a lot of interesting elements to add so overall I, I don't hate the character i don't complain about what happened to the character but uh is it as good as some of the other characters no uh rose great character i don't know if it was the actor i wasn't overly fond of or if i just felt like i wanted a little bit more from her i felt her performance was was lacking a little bit but i liked her I think that she's very competent and, you know, I'm excited to see, I know she's going to come back, obviously, because they have to, I think, but yeah, not opposed to the character. I just thought that it was a bit of a wasted opportunity. I don't feel like she was ever emoting as much as she could have. I don't know what that's about, but it's also not my place to judge. I mean, it's exactly my place to judge. That's where I put myself right now. But it's not my place to, like, criticize people as people. I'm just saying, as the character, didn't quite work for me. I felt like I wanted a little bit more from them. So hopefully, next time they can do something... Next time they do something, I hope it's just a little bit more vibrant, and I want to see more of them. Did love her hair, though. Loved her hair. Thought it was great. Uh, Jenna Coleman is Jenna Coleman. She's just... She's always great. Maybe a little bit dry this time. Maybe not quite so, you know, as engaged. Jenna Coleman has a tendency to play a little flat. She played a lesbian, which I think was really fun and cool. Obviously, I'm going to like that. But was it as good as I wanted it to be? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what she do next time. Lucienne is probably uh, one of my favorite characters in the series. I think she did a great job. Uh, the performer was great. The part was wonderful. So sweet in its in, her, in their own way. I really enjoyed. And I think that they did a great job. So good on you. Uh, Stephen Fry as Fiddler's Green. I shouldn't say that if people haven't watched it. Stephen Fry is great. Everyone loves Stephen Fry. So I have no issues putting him there. Matthew the Raven. Freaking great. I like Patton Oswalt. Uh, it's funny to think that maybe this is the raven that ate Ratatouille, and now that's why it's speaking. It makes sense. Same voice, same everything. So, what can you say? Uh, Gwendolyn Christie is Lucifer. Fantastic casting. I didn't like her hair, but maybe it's because I wanted it to be a little bit... Like, you have Gwendolyn Christie. Come on, you can do something amazing with the hair. Go big. Go, like, full drag queen. You have, you have desire right there. It's it's, it's, it's it's everything. It's so obvious. But for what it is, good job. Very happy with it. So where does Sandman rank in all this? Well, you can either put him at the top or you can be like, he's the weakest part of the, of the show. Uh, do I think he's the weakest part of the show? No. You spend the most time with him. You obviously get to know him the most. But I find him a very stoic character. I find him a very... Uh, a very bland character a lot of the time. I'm putting him right behind Lucienne. 
I think Lucien's the more interesting character. Uh, the dynamic between them obviously is great, and I have no issues with how this turned out, but I am curious to know what other people think, as I'm not sure if I'm being overly nice or if it's just not quite going through. So it looks like some of the top people are Sandman, obviously, Corinthian, Jenna Coleman, Death, Jenna Coleman. Yeah. Yeah, everyone seems to have a similar feeling. Oh, there's only two of them now. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, what did you think about Sandman? Are you excited for the next series? I know I am. So let me know, and I'm happy to report that it's hopefully going to have another season coming out soon. So I guess I just have to start reading the comics. There's so many to dig into. It's very delicious. Anyways, until next time, I will see you later. Thank you for watching. My name is Maddie McLean. You can find me on problematic streaming platform Spotify at a Canadian in Eurovision. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram at the Big Shabam. And finally, if you like what you've seen here and you want to help me out, feel free to like, subscribe. It really does help. And also, if you want to see me do something next, don't be afraid to tell me. Looking forward to hearing from you all soon, and you have a great day now.